G'day everyone, Sam here from Farm Lab, and today we're going to go through how to stratify and create random sample points uh, to generate a sample plan for an Australian clean energy regulator soil carbon project. Uh, a lot of words there, uh, and I'll crack into how we do that here. So, the previous video, uh, I've shown how to upload cadastral boundaries, and these form the basis of our project area. So, you usually want to take these cadastral boundaries, which are the the lot and DP numbers and come from the land title uh, that that project is going to be run on, and they can form the basis of a carbon estimation area and the stratification and sample plan. So there's in that yellow line there is the outline of this carbon of this cadastral boundary, and then within that I've drawn a carbon estimation area. I've also uh, this carbon estimation area spans two polygons, so it's separated by a big swath of land there, um, uh, and in farm lab you can draw multi polygons i've also uh, excluded some areas here some wooded wooded areas i could go through and exclude the dams i might save that for another day um, so the carbon estimation area is drawn and now we need to stratify that area why do we stratify areas well what we, we're trying to do in a carbon in a clean energy regulator project is to bring down the variance of carbon across uh, each strata so in this case we might want three or more carbon uh, three or more strata uh, we want a low medium and high uh, strata that that reflect a low medium and high levels of soil carbon across the landscape so how do we do that well really it comes down to what you think is driving soil carbon in this case we're going to be relatively basic and pick um, soil type because Generally speaking, soil type does infer changes in soil carbon across the landscape. Um, we have various clients using various, various other techniques within Farm Lab, bringing in their own data, which of course you can do through the BYO, uh, through the import data, BYO data uh, portal. So you can upload your own yield maps, um, your own high resolution imagery from other sources and other providers. It's very simple to do. Uh, so today we'll pick that carbon estimation area, CEA1, I've called it hit boundary processing and we're going to stratify that and we're going to in this case we might just pick three strata um, now like I said we want to stratify by soil type in this case so we're going to be relatively basic and pick elevation and K gamma like I said various clients using various different um, uh, combinations of data sets to come up with the best stratification for their project to of course reduce the variance of soil carbon across um, across each of those each of those strata so simply hit start it'll come up with a bit of a payment gateway uh, now if you're on a pro plan you do get unlimited processing on a, on a per, per monthly basis if you're on a basic plan you get about 5,000 hectares a month and then it's charged at 10 cents per hectare after that so it really comes down to the quantity of sampling um, and stratification and surveying that you're doing across the landscape We'll hit proceed on that and that'll go away it'll take about a minute to process and then we'll show you what to do next with the strata you can see my strata now through the layer menu in the bottom right hand corner by clicking on farm strata we use the debugging histograms to see if the strata are correct in line with the layers that i've used we'll talk about that in a separate video and now we can also make boundaries from strata so if you click this button down here we can now use the strata to generate random sample points against so now each of my strata have been converted into a boundary i can select them select select generate point locations and select the number of points i want to generate across each boundary i can also enter an optional seed number there in accordance with the clean energy regulator requirements Let's just enter today's date, 21, 10, 6, 11, 45, and we can generate samples at each depth as well. So that means each of these random sample points will have a depth attributed to it. So we go 0 to 30 centimetres and 30 to 100 centimetres, 1,000. And that means that if you, you take the FarmLab mobile app and go out and sample, um, you'll have each of these depths preloaded to each point. For very rapid sampling. So I'll hit start, come across to the points menu, we can see we've generated sample points all across the farm there. Don't be too concerned if uh, they look like they're outside of the boundaries when you zoom out, it's only because of the, the vectoring. Um, you can see when you zoom in, each of the points is within each of these, each of the boundaries for each of the strata. Um, so if I'm happy with those points, I can accept those, 
save that. Now export these points by hitting the export points and samples button, export the boundaries and provide them to the clean energy regulator to register my carbon project.